So here's a quick and dirty video um, to show you how Swift Control works with my Whoosh Link. So uh, the setup is like this. Uh, make sure you have you are on the same Wi-Fi on your iPad or and on your iPhone. Make sure that you don't have a private Wi-Fi address. It needs to be turned off. Uh, the tracking, I think, also needs to be disabled. That's just a thing that you have to do. Uh, I can't do anything about it. It's also a requirement for my Whoosh Link itself. So next up, you can already see, um, I'm logged in into my Woosh on my iPad. Um, you can see the link on the top right, it's enabled, which is a good sign. So um, in order to set it up and make it work with Biff control, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make sure that I can connect to my Woosh using the my Woosh link. This is optional, but it's good to know, um, good to verify that my Woosh link itself is possible to connect to my Woosh itself. So you can see the button here is light lit up. I can click on it and I'm, I can see that I can control, I can do the shift up, shift down, whatever I need and it changes. So next up, I'm just gonna show it here. Um, so that's, that's like a requirement. So um, I checked this, it works. So let's open Swift control. Now what you can see here is that I selected the target device, my Woosh link, um, because that's what I want to do. Then I'm gonna press and start listening for my Woosh. And if everything goes well, and let's hope it does. Nope. Of course, just as I wanted to show you, it didn't work. So I'm gonna open up Swift control again. I close it in the background. I'm gonna open it up again. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, you select your target device, my Woosh link. It will show the link requirements. And it didn't even show the button to start a server or anything because it did work right away. So let's verify here in my Woosh. The link is active. Um, so now Swift Control is directly connected to my Woosh instance. So now the final step is turn on, of course, your controller. So we are connected and you can see in here what each button would mean and what it's supposed to do. So in here, the side pedal, which is this one, it's supposed to shift up or shift down. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. You can choose anything you want here or at least some of the actions. I'm just gonna show it to you here. Just gonna press this button and it's gonna shift up. And that's pretty much it. So that's what you need to do. It's, I think it's quite simple. It just make sure my Woosh link uh, works as well. Then close down my Woosh link. Then you can open up Swift control and it works. And you don't even need my Woosh link in the future. It's just gonna work out of the box.